In this video, I'll review the Surround plugin, which I've included in my configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents. So let's open up NeoVim, and I'll return to this test session. And let's build this. All right. So a simple example is, say I want to italicize second. So one thing I can do is to visually select that word, so Wiener word, and then I'll do Shift S, and then I can use whatever command I want in order to italicize it or turn it to boldface. So say I for italics, and then it wraps it with italics. Um, alternatively, I could wrap it with boldface, or if I want to change this one to small caps, um, Shift S, S for small caps. Um, so that's often convenient. Um, some, there, it's worth mentioning that, you know, you can of course do bigger blocks. Um, you know, if you want to wrap these three words, Shift S, I works the same way. Um, yeah, so that's one of the main ways that I use it, at least if I'm adding italics or bold after the fact. Um, if you want to delete that, say bold face on the second here, I can use which key. So I go into S for surround, and then D, and then do B for what I'm deleting. Um, that's often useful. Um, or you can also change it. So let's say space S, and let's change. Right now it's bold face, so I'll do B, and let's change it to italics. So it Swap, swaps it out with italics. Um, so that's sometimes useful. Um, and you know, once you have these committed to memory, then it's really fast and much better than messing around with the mouse, you know, clicking and editing and so on. Um, so in math mode, uh, let's do an example like that. Um, so let's say, um, I'm writing, say, bar phi, right? Um, one thing worth actually mentioning here is that these little symbols, um, you know, help me remember what is what. So I can remember right arrow. Um, okay, so let's open up our parentheses and I'm gonna tab inside. So let's do, um, say, psi wedge, and then let's open up uh, braces, and then we'll do say chi v omega. Okay, let's build that. Um, so let's say I wanted to change the square braces to um, parentheses. So it works as just the same way, you space s change and then I'm going to do the right uh, square bracket. Um, if I do the left square bracket, it'll also include padding, so basically spaces um, inside of them, and I, I don't want to do that. So, and then I'm going to select what I'm going to change it to. So I'm going to do right parentheses. Um, oops, must have uh, timed out there. So let's do it again, space S, change uh, square brace and right parentheses. All right, and then let's go outside those and let's change those round parentheses, so space S change, um, right parentheses, and let's change that to a brace. Okay, let's build that. So easy way to swap those around instead of, you know, clicking in four different places and, you know, deleting and inserting, um, yeah, different, different brackets in each place. So, so that's nice. Um, another nice feature is say you're inside this innermost parentheses, but you you want to change the you say you just want to delete those square brackets. So space S D and then bracket will delete those square brackets. Um, and similarly, space S D and open parentheses will delete those open parentheses. So um, so that can be convenient. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about how to use the surround plugin. Um, 
it takes a little practice just to get used to using it but once you do there's no going back i mean the thought of having to say i wanted to change these braces without it i mean what would i do i'd have to go in insert mode delete that change it to some parentheses go back in insert mode delete that you know and then because i have this autocomplete um, let's go back you know when i added my left parentheses it adds a right parentheses too because that's often very convenient so then i have to delete that so you know all that work when you know if i just am anywhere inside here space s change you know like that and you know i don't have to think about it it happens by itself so very useful once you get used to it and um, yeah it really speeds up the writing process